Hey guys, it's Tanya again. Welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to be doing something really fun and um, it's called the Seven Deadly Sins of Beauty Challenge and I was tagged by my very good friend here on YouTube. Her name is Amanda Lee 82. Basically, um, we're going to go through the seven deadly sins, which are greed. I have some notes here, so I'm sorry if I'm looking away, but greed, wrath, gluttony, sloth, pride, lust, and last but not least, envy. But they are um, in questions related to beauty. So, this is really fun. I've been watching people do this, and I'm so excited to do this. Um, and first of all, I have to say, please excuse my look and appearance today. I have been under the weather. Um, my lupus and my fibromyalgia got the best of me. Let's get right on into it. So, the first is greed, and the question is, um, what is your most expensive beauty item? or items. Now, um, I have a couple, and this is my most expensive perfume that I still have left. It's Coach. Um, I'll show you guys, and you can see I've been using the heck out of it, but um, it's very pretty, and then you can take this hair bow. It's like a little hair tie if you want it to be, or whatever um but oh my god guys it smells oh my god it smells so good so this is my number one that is uh my favorite and that is one of my most expensive beauty related items um and then if we get into um uh, i'm not getting into my makeup yet um I have a straightener. Um, I don't use curling irons really or anything, but my straightener was like over a hundred dollars, so I decided to throw that in there. And now I'm going to get into our my favorite, um, which is um, my eyeshadow palettes. Oh, so all right, so my most expensive palettes I believe that I own if I remember correctly are my naked palettes these are um, like in the 50 ish dollar range um, so I have naked one two and three um, and then the heavy metal uh, by Urban Decay <laughs> That's kind of funny. I didn't even realize it was both by Urban Decay. But um, this is another uh, expensive palette. Um, but it went on sale <laughs> after Christmas. It was like supposed to be a limited edition or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah. So this one. Um, but I think maybe the naked palettes cost more than this one i can't remember i have a horrible memory guys but you guys know all palettes are expensive so number two is what beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship with okay so um i would have to say that that would be probably um Number one would be my matte lipsticks from Stila. I absolutely am in love with these. But the reason that I would consider them a love-hate, but they um, will transfer. Um, they dry down. They're very beautiful. Um, actually, I'll go ahead and try one on for you right now. And they are absolutely gorgeous, but, um, and I'm sorry for my lighting, um, we're actually redoing um, our kitchen right now and another room in our house, and I am going, okay, Tanya, don't talk while you're putting on lipstick. I love it. It's beautiful. Um, so yeah, I have a love-hate relationship with those because um, even when I let them dry down, they do transfer. Um, 
but not super bad, but, um, yeah. So that's one of my love hate relationships. Um, but I love them. <laughs> I love them more than I hate them. If that makes any sense. Um, I don't have a whole lot of products that I just hate, you know, I, I, I just don't. Okay, so our number three is gluttony, and the question is, what is my most delicious, my yummy, delicious, delicious beauty product, meaning what smells good, what just, oh my gosh, you know that one beauty product or two or with me, I'm going to show you, um, do you just love the smell of it? You just can't get enough of it. You just, oh, you just love it. So I know a lot of people, um, if they own these products are going to feel the same way as I do. So you just get ready for this, but let's move on into the yummy 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 smelling products this is my favorite one on the list I, I have to say um so i'm gonna start out with something little um and inexpensive i love this stuff i my daughter actually um turned me on to this product uh it is a powder a loose powder that i use and it is called air spun and now you either love it or you hate it, the smell of it. And, um, and me and one of my really good friends on here, um, his name is um, Sean Ivan D. And check him out. That's his name. That's his handle here on YouTube. Check him out. He is awesome. Oh my gosh. He's a makeup artist. And he blows my mind like... Oh my God, killing it with how he does his makeup. Like what? I mean, my queen. All right, let me stop rambling because I don't want this video to be like 30 minutes long. I try guys. I just like to talk. Okay. Anyway, um, airspun, either you love it, love it or you hate it, but it reminds me of my mother. Um, it just does, and some people would be turned off by that, but it just has that, that powdery, like, I hate to put it this way, but like, older lady powder, and that sounds so off-putting, but it reminds me of my mother, and when I used to be little, but she had this powder for the life of me, I cannot remember what it was, but it smelled just like this. It was not this, but it smelled like this. She used to put it all over her body. Oh my gosh, it smelled so just like this. And, you know, I mean, this is what it's like. And, you know, you can buy it in different um, shades. And uh, this is Translucent Extra Coverage 070-41 loose face powder um and like i said it's air spun so this is a unique smell that like i said not everybody will like um so disclaimer on that one but me myself it takes me back me and sean both were talking about this actually even before the challenge so it's quite funny we both put this in our um seven deadly sin of beauty um challenge so that's quite funny too so all right um now here comes my absolute favorite dun, 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 dun. i bet you already guessed it if you know me oh my gosh guys if you have smelled anything by Too faced i'm sorry that gold is so shiny but oh my gosh oh it is, this is, smells like chocolate, smells like cocoa powder, whatever you want to call it. Smells good. I don't care what you call it. Smells good. Oh my God. It, it makes you want to pull, pull it out of your drawer, 
and use it because it smells so good. I'm not kidding, guys. I mean, and then I'll just let you guys see in all its glory. I want to see it too. There you go. Guys, this is one of my favorite, favorite palettes. I am not kidding you. I love this palette. So, this is my, oh, my first palette that I'm in love with the way it smells. Um, and I didn't get out all of my Too Faced that are chocolate because they all smell like chocolate. They're wonderful. I mean, if you love chocolate or cocoa or anything like that, then you're going to love the smell of the Too Faced, um, chocolate, semi-chocolate, you know, you know what I mean. So yeah, mm, smells good. Um, and then the Too Faced Peach Palette. Oh gosh, guys, this is to die for too. I'm telling you, to die for, um, of course, smells like peach. And this is another one of my absolute favorite palettes right here, guys. Absolutely beautiful. So pigmented. Goes on gorgeous. I mean, I went, when I first bought this, I used it almost every day. Day. I love this palette, guys. I mean, loved it. Um, oh, it smells like those peachy candy ring, almost. Kind of like peachy candy ring, um, but not that uh, strong of a scent, if you know what I mean. Those little gummy candy ring things. Oh, my gosh. But it's just peach all the way. Oh. I love, love, love scented things. Can't help it. I'm just a sucker for packaging. Uh, but, I mean, the product's got to be good, too. I'm not going to just drop $40, $50 on a palette and it not perform well. Um, all right. So, here's four products so far. You can't see my gold palette right there. And then I have one more product that one of my friends told me to smell it, which it's by Chart. She said it smells good. And I was like, really? Hmm. Let me smell it. And sure enough, it smells good. And this is the Mermaid. Let me see the exact name. It is the Be a Mermaid and Make Waves Eyeshadow Palette. And you guys, if you've been watching me here lately, this is my newest palette. And let me tell you something, guys. Love the palette. I collect palettes, so. And it does. It smells good. Now, it doesn't have as strong as a um, concentrated, like, cocoa smell or chocolate smell as the Too Faced. But let me tell you something. It does have a hint of that cocoa smell. I mean, to me, I think that's what it is. But nonetheless, it smells good. <laughs> the sucker smells good. So, but my favorite, favorite has to be the peach and the the chocolate, the two the Too Faced products. That has to be my favorite, the peach and the chocolate. Um, so moving along, we're on number four now out of our seven deadly beauty sin challenge, uh, sloth. What product or products do you neglect due to laziness? Well, um, I don't really neglect products due to laziness. Um, my products that I chose, I neglect due to um, time, um, and not really knowing how to properly use them. So I'll explain. All right. You're going to say, why do you have so many if you don't use them? I do use them. It's just, I don't reach for them all the time. If that makes any sense, you know, um, Okay, so, yeah, I have a lot of them. Liquid highlighters. Okay, I have, like, the, a Becca one. I have a Benefit What's Up. 
we just got the Tardius Pro Glow in our Boxy Charm. Um, I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin. These are all, all highlighters. Um, another Tardius Pro Glow. Then I have a Peter Thomas Roth 24 Karat Gold um, All Over Self Adjusting Illuminator and Targeted Highlighter. <sighs> okay. <laughs> a lot of words there. Um, so, I love them. I love them. But. I just don't know how to get them to work properly. I reach for my powders because I'm so used to using powders. I know how to use them easily. I know how to apply them so easily. And with the cream-based products, I want to learn how to use them properly. But I just want to use, you know, learn how to use them. Um, so another product now, this is not out of laziness. It's because I'm scared. Um, and you guys are going to laugh. I bought the cheapest ones I could find because I needed to practice. <laughs> um, and that is a set of lashes. <laughs> yes, I bought ELF and I still haven't tried it yet. And I bought them like weeks ago <laughs> so um I thought you know pay a couple bucks for them why not and that way I can just practice with them if I mess up if I mess them up if I do whatever with them then it's only a couple bucks right so um and I think women men anyone that uses them it makes them look it makes your whole eye look pop and just look gorgeous. So I want to try these suckers out. Not out of laziness. It's out of fear <laughs> and not knowing how to use these bad boys. Okay, so I have one more product under the uh, sloth category, which um, let me remind you is the question is... Um, what product, what beauty product do you neglect due to laziness? And like I said, it's not because of laziness. It's for different reasons. Um, can you guess? It's eyeliners. And I cannot get, I'm a girl that likes a little tiny bit of a wing and I cannot get my wings to match. It's like, and then I end up going too thick and I keep adding to try to match and then it just turns out horrible and it ends up ruining everything. So it's like, oh, what have I done to myself? So I kind of purposely neglect it because I'm like, I'm scared. I don't want to mess it up. Um, so yeah, um, these eyeliners. Uh, all right. So moving on along. Number five. Let's see what we have. Pride. What beauty product gives you the most confidence? Okay. That is so easy for me. So easy. But it's a few different products. Um, as you can see, all of this has not been just a one product deal. Um, it's a few different products. So it would be foundation, concealer, and mascara. I cannot leave the house without those three things. I, it j makes me feel better. Um, I just have to have it. The, I've always been that way. It's crazy. I've always been that way. Um, like ever since I was younger, if I have me some mascara, some foundation and concealer, I'm good to go. Um, and when I was younger, it used to be lip gloss, um, like in high school. But, uh, you know, if I have those three things, it gives me so much confidence because it makes me feel like I have flawless skin, <laughs> um, which I don't. But all right. So just 
I have I don't have a favorite favorite go to mascara. I like to try a lot of different mascaras. Like I'll stay with one for a few months. I'll try another one. You know, I don't have just one mascara that I will stick with for all eternity. It won't happen. I like trying new things. So, um, this is the one that I'm on now. Uh, I just like to keep my boxes, guys. My daughter actually was sweet enough to buy this for me, but um, it is the uh, Urban Decay Total Perversion um, Mascara, and it actually came with an eyeliner as well. Um, that is so sweet of her. And I also use my Pure Cosmetics. Um, I kind of like this little guy too. I'm working on this to try to get it finished before it dries out. So I'm really trying to work on this guy too. Um, but yeah, like those, um, mascara is a must. I will not, will not walk out of the house without mascara. Um, and my, my go-to right now, well, for the past, like, two years probably, which is a long time for me uh, to stick with a foundation, but I found it. It works. It's full coverage, and girl, it it has me looking like mm, flawless, um, is the Too Faced Born This Way um, can, medium to full coverage foundation. So, Yes, it really does have a very good full coverage, um, and I, this is my backup. I haven't even used it yet. Um, this is the one that I'm working on right now. I'm in the shade Porcelain, um, and I love it, but the It Bye Bye Under Eye, my favorite concealer so far. Um, there is a Benefit concealer that I like as well, but this one is my favorite because it has full coverage and it really gets my under eye um, circles. Love it. Um, not everybody's going to like this because it does have a very full coverage, but I need that. So I love it. Um, and in this, I'm in uh, Light Ultra Fair. So, if you guys can see that, that's what I'm in. And so, that is my pride. Um, the product that gives me the most confidence. Now, number six is... Um, Number six and number seven, I can't show you the products uh, because you'll see why. Uh, number six, Lust. If money was no issue, what items would you add to your collection? Violet Vols, I really like. Um, there's some Urban Decay palettes. Um, there are some Marc Jacob products that I really like. Um, there are some Issa Laurent, uh, products that I really like. Um, so the It Cosmetic Brushes, I am a makeup brush hoarder. So, honestly, any kind of good makeup brush set, like, I mean, like high-end, the, the really expensive high-end, good quality, um, makeup brushes. Um, so yeah, I think that would be some of the, um, items that I would choose. Um, and then let's see our very last one, number seven, Envy. What products would you like to receive as gifts? And so there is this one, um, the Violet Voss uh, eyeshadow palette that I really would like to have. Um, I really want the Jack one of the Jaclyn Hill palettes. Uh, I really like, I mean, it's like all palettes, <laughs> um, except for the brushes. Um, I really would love to have um, the... Actually, all of the... 
let's let's backtrack for a second. The lust right now. All of the this is so hard to show. All of the tart be a mermaid and make waves because they have brush set a brush set they have all kinds of things um so that would fall under lust and that would fall under envy um so i would like to receive um that i would like to receive more of the Too faced peach products because that stuff is really expensive like just the regular blushes um i would love to receive um the some of the highlighters from Jeffree Star, um, some of the um, palettes like the Beauty Killer and the Blood Sugar, the Blood Sugar being number one. Um, so those are the only things I can think of right now um, other than some really nice high-end brushes. Um, because like I said, I'm a brush hoarder. So, um, yeah, so I think those are my answers and I really enjoy doing this. Thank you, Amanda, so much. I will leave her information down below. Um, I had a blast doing this. Thank you for tagging me. And I am going to pick two people to tag and my two people that I'm going to tag are going to be Samantha Boyd MUA and I would also like to tag uh, the Rendy Ray. Um, I love both of you guys so much and I hope you guys can do it and participate with me and it's so much fun guys. Um, I love you guys ever so much and um, please give this video a big thumbs up for me. If you're not yet subscribed um, just hit that notification bell and subscribe and uh, smash that like button and um, also don't forget that I'm giving a giveaway um, and just go check out my um, video for that and make sure you enter to win no jumping through hoops and easy as pie so I'm very excited to see who wins if we hit 300 subscribers from now until giveaway time then you guys have a chance of two people winning so that's super exciting and um but anyway i will let you guys go and i'll catch you in the next video bye guys